Okay. <laughs> I don't want to start laughing as soon as we start shooting. You obviously make me nervous, Pete. Oh, that's a great pick. Some of the jokes. <laughs> All right, so welcome back to the, uh, the Pretty Good Feed. This is the first one in, uh, in quite some time now. So the, the world has been turned on its head. And uh, we started doing this cooking show a few months ago, which was to encourage cooking outdoors and adventure and exploring. And now half the world's on, uh, on lockdown. So we are gonna continue on with this show and uh, it's gonna be the Pretty Good Feed, kind of cooking at home in the back garden. Um, still cooking on barbecues. Um, Maybe jump in the kitchen with the kids, but um, just want to show you guys some how-tos and just using up stuff in the fridge. Real basic, real simple, but really tasty food. So we're going to make a really simple risotto today using squash, some corn and ricotta that we're going to make from just some milk and some lemon juice. And we're going to use the whey from the ricotta, flavor it up with some herbs and stuff and use that to make a really tasty vegetarian risotto. So let's get cracking, shall we? All right, so this is the setup today. So just a little fire pit. Uh, we've burnt off some bamboo. We've been doing all sorts of stuff with the garden. So we burnt this off, off earlier on. I've got Mags' Le Creuset pot here, which is a favorite. So I need to do this really quickly. <laughs> um, and all I've got is milk. So I'm gonna bring that up almost to the boil and then add some acid to that to, to curdle it. Um, I'll use some lemon juice, maybe a touch of um, apple cider vinegar. It will split it and I'm just gonna set that aside for a couple of minutes. And that's really how you make ricotta. So we'll, we'll pour that off um, and then I'll put the whey back on the heat and we're going to use that as our base for our ricotta. All right. A litre and a half of milk. I'm going to bring him up slowly, give it a bit of a stir because you don't want him to catch um, on the bottom. And it's just starting to kind of almost come to the boil now. And once it does, I'm just going to add my, um, my acid and let it, let it separate. And ideally, like if you're making this, firstly, you can flavor the milk with, you know, rosemary, thyme, you know, spices, if you want to flavor your ricotta. Um, you can enrich it by adding some more fat. So it's really, really, um, it loves a bit of cream. So usually you'd, you'd make it with, uh, you know, a little bit of cream and milk. But I just want this to be really, really sort of paired back. I want these dishes to be sort of three or four ingredients. <laughs> Quiet on set. So I'm just gonna cut these puppies in half. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. I'm becoming an expert at little, little toys and especially Lego. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm really into Lego. Uh, Pete. Pop in our lemon juice. What do you got there? Uh, two lemons? Oh, a couple of small lemons. And you can see it starting to curdle almost immediately there. And I'm going to use this beautiful whey. Flavour it up with some, uh, some bay leaves, some um, onion trimmings, garlic, basil stalks. And then we use that for our, for our stock, for our risotto. Whilst that's rest, so that'll be like... <laughs> So that'll be about five minutes. I'll give, we'll give that five minutes to just like, just chill for a little bit. And whilst we're doing that, we'll collect a few things from the garden. So I want to get some bay leaves, some basil we're using anyway. So I'll wind the stalks in there. We'll prep our corn and then the cob, I'll cut that up and that can flavor the stock as well. Um, and then we'll prep the onion, pumpkin, that's it. So I have um, a bit of corn, um, an onion, some butternut squash, and um, yeah, that's real garlic, mate. That's from the farm, from Josh. So that's um, banana garlic, which is beautiful. Corn, obviously, we spoke about last time, but there's, you know, there's, there's loads of it around at the moment. So I just, just absolutely love it. The reason I'm prepping it now is I want it to use the, the flavour from the cob. So um, I'm just going to cut these away. And just a little tip, just to get the most out of... Uh, your corn, I just scrape it with the back of a knife and you can just see um, all of these, just like, it just gets all of those little, like all the all important flesh and juice. <laughs> so that's Charlie in the background. <laughs> so 
So obviously we've been housebound, as of most uh, young families, which has been uh, it's pretty testy, but it, I, must, I must say it has been a bit of a joy to, to cook. Um, cook every night for the family. It's not, ironically, not something that a lot of chefs get to do. Onion scraps, so I'll go like a little bit of the garlic, onion trimmings into our stock pot, like so. This much. You know what? So this recipe came about, I was, when I was working at Tet's, there was a guy called David Pegram who was a sous chef and he was amazing. And he's like one of the sort of unsung heroes of, uh, you know, the kitchen world. You meet a lot of these chefs that are awesome and so talented and no one's really ever heard of them. But he was, he was amazing and he taught me so much. He used to work for Marco Pierre White back in the day and he was his sous chef. Um, so um, from a, you know, amazing pedigree of cooks. But for Staffies, he would cook this, uh, yeah, it was, it was a, pumpkin and, a pumpkin and corn uh, risotto with, with basil. And I think it was an old, um, it was an old, I think it was an old bank dish back in the day, or certainly the flavour profile. So it was like this um, iconic restaurant in Sydney run by Liam Tomplin. And loads and loads of sort of awesome chefs came through that, sort of like Warren Turnbull and, and Colin Fastenage, um, Timmy from Milk and Honey, um, Honey in uh, Mullumbimby came from there. And it was just this awesome place. So yeah, he just, it was a really, really simple um, flavour a combo but it just it just works really well um, so that's that's sort of where this came from bay, uh, bay leaves i've got our um just it's like basil pick off some leaves and just the basil stalk um, some parsley stalks here too and then with that i'll just wind in some pepper and i'll just put some of the lemon peel in um, to flavor our way as well pinch of salt Pour this, so now I'm going to pour the whey um, over our sort of vegetable offcuts. Um, so the ricotta will be caught in this. This is just a, just a, um, a cheesecloth. You can use muslin if you like. I'll let that drip off. Like so. I'll pop our whey back on the heat. Despite the sort of kids screaming in the background, like it is worth spending just like a few minutes just to, um, you know, obviously you can ha add white wine, you can add veg stock, chicken stock, you can add all sorts, because we're just using, we're making our own stock on the fly. Like it is just worth just taking a couple of minutes just to let this come to the boil, just to extract, extract as much flavor as possible from the corn and the bay and the onion and garlic. And even already, even after a couple of minutes, like you can, I can smell the lemon. What does it taste like? Like garlic. <laughs> so yeah, you can already taste like the garlic and the lemon and the corn, so that's cool. So like, you can just see it boiling away there, Pete. And we'll use that to cook our risotto rice. Thank you. Thank you. So this uh, my runner, Magdalena Rose. Just some of the jokes. <laughs> Cast iron pan on, on the heat. Um, I use some of the old uh, Three Blue Ducks uh, cultured butter. Good knob of butter. Butter a little bit of olive oil. And then I'll just get the, um, the onions and garlic. Um, sweat them down first for a minute or so. Good pinch of salt. And some pepper. That's a little bit of basil from Archie. <laughs> in with the rice. So just a borio. That's just you know risotto rice. So now at this stage, classically, you'd have some um, like some booze, some white wine. But we've only really been drinking red wine, to be honest, so uh, <laughs> it's probably not, a, there's not much in the house, so uh, I'm just going to go the way. And there's, they like, to be honest, there's so much flavour in that way and the veggies, anyway, it's going to be fine. But if you want to add white wine, now's the time. 
I know a lot of people say you've got to add it one, you know, one ladle at a time. You have to stir it like crazy and let all the liquid absorb it and you know m manipulate the, the rice in order to you know extract all the starch and all that's great but mate to be honest life's too short <laughs> i'm just gonna like I'll, I'll do probably do it in three stages so i'll add some whey sit down have a drink just listen to the birds <laughs> give it a stir add a bit more so uh yeah it's uh, and to be honest with you mine always comes out really really creamy so uh yeah, it's up to you. But basically, you just need to cook the rice in that stock. Do it how you want. I, I don't care. So just a, a little important note, Pete. So um, if this cooks down, you don't think you're going to have en enough stock, just top it up with a little bit of water. Absolutely fine. So it's getting there. So that's had sort of uh, five to ten minutes. You see the... Butternut squash is starting to cook down. Smells pretty epic. I'll pop in the last of our, our stock peat. So it's about four or five minutes cooking, so now we're going to add our, our sweet corn. Amazing hands. More salt. Where is it? Is <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't see, Mum. <laughs> um, so now we'll just chop some some herbs. So we've got some parsley, some basil. Mags. It's like two minutes away. Let's take it off the heat. Right, so I'm going to wind in some of our ricotta. Touch of olive oil. And there goes some lemon zest. I'm just going to have just some hard, just some hard cheddar, just to give it a bit more bite as well. Bloody some of the herbs. Mate, how, long, how good does that look? <laughs> That's awesome. That's so good. <laughs> it's great. So there's our um, whey risotto. Corn, butternut squash, and, and a little bit of basil, and other stuff from the garden. So really, really easy to make, but if you do nothing else, try and um, have a go at making the ricotta at home. And uh, send some pics. Tag in a uh, pretty good feed if you like. And uh, yeah, good luck with that. I hope you enjoy it and we'll be posting more in the coming weeks. And uh, thanks for watching.